Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you an update about my life year and a half in Georgia. So what my immigrant life looks like. First, let's discuss the general feeling about Georgia. I love it. Honestly, Tbilisi is bigger than Khabarovsk, the town where I lived before. So it's really good. The coffee is good, the cats are everywhere, and it's warm, like all the time, like Sims weather. In terms of language, I did absorb some Georgian, mostly phrases about coffee, like all the questions you could be asked when you buy coffee. And I've been ordering coffee in Georgian for some time, which is amazing. Also, I have a list of my favorite places, favorite coffee shops, cafes, places to go to, mostly food. What else? I've gained love to Hinkali. When I first came to Georgia, I was questioning my tolerance to beef and pork, basically any meat that is not chicken. When I started eating Hinkali, it took some time to adjust, but now I can't imagine my life without it. It's great. It hits every time. The last time I ate Hinkali was yesterday. Oh my god, I didn't explain what this is. It's like a big soup dumpling. You, you are hearing me right. Soup dumpling that you eat with your hands and you drink the, the soup, the bouillon, out of this dumpling. You eat the meat. You do it all with your hands. Amazing. I gain tolerance to cilantro and that's my biggest win because i hate cilantro it tastes like soap and bugs any georgian dish contains cilantro especially most popular type of hinkali like cilantro mixed with the uh, with the meat i do eat those now and i do enjoy those and because we're talking about food let's talk about hachapuri so it's like a cheese bread bread with cheese cheese mostly homemade bread also made from scratch that's amazing let's talk about types of hachapuri because this is what my videos are for for learning first the one that is most popular and looks like a boat and it's a jar in hachapuri looks like a boat again and it has cheese that it has some butter and egg yolk which is what it differentiates it from the other types of hachapuri. You scoop some of this cheesy, yolky, buttery mixture with a piece of bread, and that's how you eat it. That's the most popular hachapuri. You absolutely have to try this. If you don't trust the raw egg yolk, which happens to me sometimes, you can eat the Megrelian hachapuri, which looks like a pizza calzone. My pronunciation is not very much Italian. Flat pie with cheese in it. That's amazing, especially when it's just baked and the cheese all melting and everything just comes together. That's amazing. If it's made by Georgian grandma, that's the best. I'm telling you. So that's been Georgian cuisine in a nutshell from Depressed Russian. Next, we're going to places that I like in Georgia. popular ski resorts Gudauri and Bakuriani. They're different but the same. Gudauri has like higher mountains and more advanced skiing situation. Not really for me. I've tried skiing like from the mountain for the first time here in Georgia so advanced ones are really not for me. I would say that I like Bakuriani more. It has a lot of Christmas trees. It looks like a, some flat surface surrounded by mountains. It's very beautiful. You can walk here. You can like enjoy not skiing in there, just being there and just walking, which is what I like. Um, obviously, I live in Belize, the capital, the biggest city, but 
I've been to second largest city, which is Batumi, it has palm trees, it has the sea, you know, seagulls, my favorite, more like a resort city. And I've been to third largest city, which is Kutaisi. It's very tiny, even though it's third largest, but it's like, it's tiny, it's small. So it's been really good. I've been exploring Georgia. I've explored Georgian cuisine. I explored most of the popular places. Who am I kidding? Most of the popular cafes in Georgia, in Tbilisi. I've learned how to talk to waiters, how to talk to taxi drivers. Taxi is so cheap in here, oh my god. Um, I've never been to a metro still. In my defense, I don't really go anywhere, and when I go, I take a taxi, it costs like nothing. I've took a bus like three times probably. The buses are new, like it looks really good. I went to the botanical garden, both in Tbilisi and in Batumi. I really enjoyed it, but it's a lot of walking. It's like three hours of walking we're talking about to, to see everything in there. And it also has heels, so if you like any kind of, you know, hiking, that's perfect. I don't like sports, but I did enjoy it a little bit of walking in the botanical garden. Obviously, you have to go to the city center of Tbilisi because it's beautiful, it's historical, the buildings are amazing, there are a lot of cafes with Hachapuri and Hinkali. You have to do this, you have to eat this, okay? I'm telling you, you have to go to Tbilisi for eating all of the food. I still love the fact that there are a lot of stray cats and dogs. They're integrated into the city. They're friendly, you can pet them. There's zero damage, mostly. They're a bit dirty, but you know, I can adjust to this. And there's a huge feeling of wanting to adopt a random cat and dog whenever you leave the house. And I still have that actually. Every time I go outside, I see a cute cat or, or dog that lives on the streets. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm taking you home. But then I remember that I don't have a home and I don't have any kind of residency that allows me to stay there for like 15 years, which is a lifespan of a cat. I'm not taking you home, but I really want to. The city still looks like a cat cafe. My phone gallery still looks like a random compilation of cat photos and dog photos. And whenever I'm feeling sad, I buy cat food. I walk the street, I pet the cat. I feed the cat, then I pet the cat when it loves me already because I fed him. That's the best form of therapy. That's amazing. And I do it quite a lot. Not gonna lie, but it still hits. It still hits. Like Hinkali, they still hit. The cats still hit. What else? Coffee, obviously. You can tell I'm caffeinated in this video. So what else? I've learned a, a little bit about traditions. I've drank all of the Georgian water. Georgia has a lot of different brands of water that are like come from Georgia. There's Barjomi, there's Bakuriani, there's uh, like, there is Natahtari lemonades, there's Zandukeli lemonades. They're different but the same. And actually there's so many like lemonade soda flavors that are made there and they're cheap. I didn't drink that many sodas in Russia, but here you have to. Like a soda with a taste of tarragon? Give me that, okay? Taste of cream with taste of pear, lemon, random ones. Fucking feihua. I don't know the translation of this um, fruit. Feihua. So, really, Georgia has all of the things that I like, which is overpriced coffee, Great feeling, amazing, tasty food that makes you fat, but uh, we love that. It really has Sims weather. Uh, there's actually somewhat of a hurricane going on outside the window, but that's random, that's nothing. Most of the days, it's Sims weather. I'm talking sun is shining constantly, green grass, everything is great. Sunny, no rain, no snow, no wind, it's just amazing. It's just enjoyable. It feels like you live in a simulation where it's just constantly fresh, tasty food going on, sims weather, 
and everyone's speaking Simlish. I feel like I'm gonna get hate for that, but Georgian letters, they look like Simlish. I did learn the letters actually. I still mistake a few of them because they look a little bit the same, but I do know how to read them for the most part. So the conclusion of this video is that Georgia is basically Sims. So let's finish it up. I do like it here a lot. I do feel more integrated into Georgian life. I don't feel that much of a tourist right now. I can see the difference between people who came here like a week, a month ago, and people who've been there for a long time. I am staying here for now. I don't have any plans of moving anytime soon. I don't have energy to think about this anytime soon. While I still can be here, I am here. If they wouldn't let me in the country, I will start thinking about my future. So this is the kind of person I am. It all sounds like sunshine and rainbows, like there are obviously bad days, there's obviously stuff that I don't like that much. Mostly it's okay. I do feel a bit more relaxed here, not in Russia, and it's great. That's what I've always said. Talking about things that I don't like. They're probably gonna approve the same law that is already happening in Russia, which is anti-LGBT propaganda law. Basically, no life for the gays. And that's bad. They have this law in Russia for some time and it's been getting more and more absurd. I've already lived in a country where this law is happening and, you know, if you look straight passing, you're okay. And that's what I'm hoping for, just being okay. So let's wrap things up. When I leave Georgia next time, please let me in. That's what I'm saying. If you ever wanted to visit Georgia, you should, because cats are friendly, food is great, and the weather is pleasant. Unlike the laws of this country, but we're not gonna talk about this. So I guess that's all I wanted to say today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your donations. Bye. See you in the next one. And this cat, this cat's butt was the most comfortable.